This is BaseballGuys.com, and I'm Ray Flowers. Why am I holding this stack of 20s in my hand? No, I'm not going to the strip club tonight with Pac-Man Jones to make it rain. I'm just trying to make a point. Looks like Matt Holliday and Scott Boris are all about the dinero. Recent reports have been circulated that the St. Louis Cardinals have made an offer to Matt Holliday, an eight-year deal worth $130 million. Uh, Holliday apparently has not accepted the deal yet, with the rumor being the reason of this. Jason Bay's deal with the Mets, $16.5 million a year. The potential deal with the Cardinals, $16.25 million per year for Matt Holliday. Whether or not that's true, we're, we're not certain at the moment. We are certain that another rumor that's out there, the one floated that says apparently that the Orioles had offered $130 plus million to Matt Hall to become a, a new member of their outfield, are completely false. The Orioles came out today, shot down those rumors, said there's no accuracy whatsoever in those reports at all. Which made me to think, could Scott Boris potentially have floated a rumor that wasn't true? Heaven forbid. Bottom line is it looks like the best fit for Matt Holliday is still the Cardinals where he would form an, a dynamic 1-2 option in the middle of the lineup with Albert Pujols. He should return there. Eight years, $130 million. It's a lot of dinero, Mr. Holliday. I'd take the deal. Settle in a city that loves you. Settle in a place where you have a chance to bat behind the greatest right-handed hitter of our generation. Put up some great numbers and put up those you know Hall of Fame credentials that you so desperately want. You can buy a lot of food with $130 million. Take the deal, Mr. Holliday.